Meantime this morning, helping mothers get through addiction while helping their kids deal with the struggles that come with it. A local program has been doing that. And as WCPO 9 News reporter Paolo Cerro shows us, First Step Home has new evidence that this is working. Very encouraging, Paolo. Yeah, that's right, Julie. Good morning. It's called the Child Resiliency Program, and in just a year and a half, First Step Home has seen children really overcome obstacles on their own while also forming closer bonds and relationships with their mother, all while living under the same roof, and I got to see it firsthand. Good girl. Two-year-old Beauty Singleton. There you go has a close bond with her mother, Misty Anders. They go everywhere together, including here at First Step Home. I balked at the idea of um, her going to daycare. Like, I just enjoy her so much. It's in this brick home in Walnut Hills where women receive treatment for substance abuse disorder. Um, I've struggled with addiction on and off for some time. It's scary. I'm scared to death to leave. I know that sounds crazy, but... The world is scary. And as of a year and a half ago, their child resiliency program has offered therapeutic services to children up to the age of 12. She has um, like some sensory issues. Children like Beauty, whose father died while Misty was pregnant with her. You want to get you to show her like a big girl? I, at least now I have a piece of him. She's so amazing, so. The program, which offers child therapy, speech pathology, nursing care, and other services, is the reason why Misty says she has been able to grow closer to her daughter. Can you get mommy's purse over there? She literally has taught me how to bond with my daughter and um, just how to be a better mother. Oh my gosh, you're such a big... Oh, you're strong. These optional and free services offered at First Step Home are proving to work. Wow. These kids are really traumatized. Clinical director Naomi Sims Satterwhite says a lot of the children coming in through the doors have neonatal abstinence syndrome. So they might come in with tremors, they might come in with long, prolonged crying, uh, difficulty soothing, vomiting, um, just a struggle. But since the inception of the program, Child Care Services has seen a 72% improvement in social skills and reduced separation anxiety in children. Pediatric speech therapy showed a 60% improvement in speaking skills. Good services that are being provided, they're necessary, they're essential. And Misty couldn't agree more. I didn't even want to live. Today, I definitely want to live. You know what I mean? Like There's a different part of me um, that's just amazing and ready to thrive. Wow. Now, the group has seen an improvement in all of the services they provide children, and these services were made possible thanks to two grants. So uh, we've got a breakdown on how much really this has helped children on WCPO.com. But for now, reporting live, Paolo Lucero, WCPO 9 News.